we doing, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great week and had a great Easter weekend. Um, I just want to talk about what everybody else is talking about right now, and that is the trailer that dropped today for the Marvels. Uh, that was formerly Captain Marvel 2. Uh, but literally everybody's talking about this thing, uh, and not in a good way. <laughs> I must have watched 12 different reviews today. Uh, only one of them was actually good. Or, uh, or they said, yeah, yeah, we're going to go see that. One. So it's getting ratioed already. I think there was like uh, 13,000 likes on the thing and like 14,000 dislikes. <laughs> so unlike everybody else, I actually liked the original Captain Marvel movie. Uh, everybody's like, what are you thinking? <laughs> I didn't say I loved it. I didn't say I didn't have a lot of problems, uh, but I liked it. All right. Um, I, I did think that we had a lot of problems. I think it could have been better. Uh, but I, the thing is, I liked the Marvel character before there was ever a movie. Uh, in fact, I'm still... Uh, I'm still collecting the comics, uh, although it's ending because Kelly Thompson's not the greatest writer in the world. Uh, in fact, she's had a big problem with this. Uh, he, he, she started out with it being decent and having her have a relationship with Rhodey and blah, blah, blah. But now she's surrounded by just women. Uh, and whenever there's a man in it, like Gambit's in this and he's totally emasculated. Um, so she just, it just went downhill really, really quick. And now they're going to end it. Normally Captain Marvel books, nobody buys them. Um, normally by the time they hit 30 issues, it gets rebooted. And now they went to 50, which is shocking. And now they're rebooting it again. Anyway, it's canceled. So, yeah. So um, in fact, I even have, uh, the hot toys version of Captain Marvel right here. Um, so yeah, I mean, I like the character. Uh, now, whether she was done completely right in the movie, that's a whole other thing. Because at least in the comics, she's a little bit more happy-go-lucky than she is in in the uh, in the in the movie. Uh, and I think that's part of the problem is the way that Brie Larson's kind of handling her. Because even in here, she's kind of um, groaning a lot, and uh, you know, she's got, she's got that voice in the face. But and I think that's part of the problem is uh, nobody can really relate to her because she's angry all the time. <laughs> But this movie, again, was supposed to be Captain Marvel 2, but because they think, because of all the backlash that happened from Captain Marvel, whether it's made a billion dollars or not, because it was sandwiched in two films, uh, you know, everybody knew that they had to see that for Endgame, and, uh, and now we don't have that. So now we're going to be combining her with Miss Marvel that nobody watched on, on Disney+. Plus. I mean, nobody watched that thing. Nobody collects her comics. She has no fan base. She has no fan base whatsoever. And if there might be some people now that this thing's announced, we'll go back and watch the Disney show. But I never saw it. I don't care about that character. That character is completely annoying. They keep throwing her into Spider-Man. They did a, a dark web thing where they threw her in there just because they had no idea what the hell to do with her. And they knew that they needed to bring some kind of... a audience to her so they threw her into spider-man nobody wanted her there she was annoying there she's annoying here i mean the first let's go through the trail i'm not going to play the trailer but let's go through the just the beginning so i'm a big fan of monica rambo i tried to collect the comic but the comic is written so badly I, I couldn't get past issue one but uh but i'm a big character fan of her character in fact when she showed up in wandavision i was actually pretty pleased so and I like the actress playing her. So, again, if this was just Captain Marvel and Monica Rambeau, I'd be all in. Uh, and, you know, give her a, give them a big uh, villain to fight together. And then on top of that, we could have, you know, maybe reduced Carol's powers a little bit to make it a little bit more fair. And then, you know, we would have had a, a big ball brawl, and I would have been fine with that. But instead, now we're getting a comedy led partially by an annoying, annoying character. So, I mean, right in the first couple minutes, we see, not even a couple minutes, we first two seconds, we see Monica being stupid and going up to something that she has no idea what the hell it is and touching it. Come on, she's smarter than that. 
And then so when she does, all of a sudden we hear, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So annoying right off the bat. Right off the bat, we are completely annoyed with this character. And we're like, what's going on? Because Monica Rambeau wouldn't scream like that. Like, uh, you know, I don't know what. So uh, all of a sudden, you know, we, we now see that it's Kamala Khan. And she's, you know, uh, Nick Fury goes, ah, you know, well, who are you? And uh, she's like, oh, Nick Fury, hi, hi, hi. Oh, my God. Can we, I, I really want, just want to shut it off then. I, I, even if I wanted to see this movie, can I really get through a two-hour film with that character being annoying all the way through? Then, you know, we had the piece with the cat. And she's like, oh, my God! You know, they come in the door. She's like, oh, hi! She's like, want me to show you my powers? Everybody's like, no! And even her voice is shrill, man. I'm sure the, the, the actress is nice, but however the... So this, this is being directed... By Nia DaCosta. You know how many acting, uh, directing women has? Zero. Zero. She's, this is the, her first directing thing. And it's a 253, they, it's gone up to 300 million, I think, because of the fact that they've had so many reshoots because the, the thing is, uh, testing so badly with audiences. So they had to go back and reshoot. Now it's up to the $300 million. Do you know what credit she's got? writing Candyman. She wrote Candyman in one of the movie, and she has a couple of shorts that she wrote. That's it. That's her entire credit list. And they gave her a $300 million movie that nobody even likes the characters. What, 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 what Disney, what are you thinking? And then the writers are Gene Ca uh, Collin and uh, Roy Thomas. Um, Gene, I think, did uh, all the Blade stuff. But also wrote Winter Soldier, Falcon Winter Soldier. You know, and, and they have a lot of cartoons between them. They did a lot of cartoons and video games. Um, and uh, Roy Thomas did uh, six episodes of uh, WandaVision. So it's, I mean, these guys know how to write, but they don't, uh, under the tutelage or whatever else, or the direction of Disney, Disney Marvel, they're turning out crap. I thought the Blade series was great. So the guy can write, but I think that they're being pushed in a direction that's turning their writing to crap. Uh, I couldn't even get through uh, Valkyrie Winter Soldier. It started out good and went <laughs> plummeted because of all the identity politics they were putting in there. Um, I mean, the thing that went viral was, you know, you've got to do better. Come on, man. I don't need anybody shaking their hand at my at my face through the, through the freaking screen. So, yes, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Um, I mean, I was willing to get through it with, I mean, Kamala Khan, she's, I, I can't, I can't even go see The Flash because Ezra Miller is so annoying. Even before all this thing happened, I, through Justice League, I could not see his acting. I could not get through his acting because he was so annoying. And I, I think that in some ways, this character, Kamala Khan's even worse, even more annoying. I don't know. Uh, a little bit frustrated by this whole thing. So I don't know. I, I may go see it. Not definitely an opening weekend, but and with the thing in my head that, yeah, I may have to walk out of it. So it's unfortunate. It's un really unfortunate. But uh, I, you, and you don't even see any villain in the thing. I don't know who they're fighting in that. They they showed the Cree woman show up in the comics. Uh, they're related. Uh, Carol and and the one the Ronan character, uh, the female Ronan character. She, she's she's the Ronan the accuser. Basically, that's what the hammer is. It's the uh, person who is wielding that as the accuser. But her and uh, and Carol are related in some way. Um, but she was big and burly. I don't know what this person here is. I don't understand any of it. I mean, we don't see any conflict. We all we see is this. I mean, I don't know what these writers were thinking. Again, they were probably directed to to do this, but they were probably. Like, what are we gonna What are we gonna write here? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, Freaky Friday with three people. We're gonna go. We're gonna do this thing. Yeah. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, remember to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. 
Uh, again, let me know what you guys think of this. Are you guys going to go see it? Uh, are you guys going to stay as far away from it as possible? <laughs> let me know in the comments. Uh, also, as far as my stuff is concerned, uh, you can see we finally got uh, Iron Witch. This is the hardcover copy. Uh, came out pretty decently. Um, I'm going to be fulfilling the Kickstarter soon. Uh, but the other um, the paperback and whatever else I didn't like, so I sent it back. And uh, I'm, I'm waiting to get copies, uh, test copies I like before I start fulfilling and, and putting in the final order. Uh, Lords of L.A., the last one just about got finished. Uh, last page, uh, as far as pencils are concerned. So we're going to be doing starting that soon. But what's starting right now, and I'm going to put a link in the in the comments below there, in the, in the comment section below. Uh, I did launch the Notify Me for... Um, the Kickstarter. So we're going to be launching the Kickstarter. So click the link below and uh, get notified about when that launches. Uh, pretty excited about that. And you'll be able to buy, you know, past uh, stuff uh, from me and I will be signing, etc. So make sure you get on on that. All right. Thanks, guys. And have a great week. All right.